Hello everyone, SP here. Now, what a today game on TC Inkblot, we're watching The Stringer. Now, look at the comps. Uh, let's see, your comp is, eh, it's all right. Uh, and then as for the enemy comp, you're gonna get missiled, make sure that when you're getting missiled, you uh, well, aren't next to your enemy team, or your team, so that you don't share the missiles. Watch out for the Tetra and the Dapple, they both are gonna have a plan of running into you. And Splatana is just gonna be Splatana. You're gonna get corpse spammed. There's a lot to watch out for, so just just watch out for it, I guess. That's all you really can do. Keep in mind. Anyways, what's your plan? So just lob the shots. I'm. You missed a lot. What I notice is you don't. I don't think you really need to go for full shots to be honest. You could have probably gone for partial charges uh, for like half shots, and you probably would have hit him. And he probably would have, like, helped the team get the kill. Okay, so, Julie's over there. Same thing, you probably could have gone for a Maybe a full shot was fine there. Because there was no one really to combo off of that. Because the guy who could have done him was dead. Anyways, I think a similar thing there. They were kind of weak. You could have gone for a partial charge. Or a half shot. I need to specify between... Well, no. Partials, are, I guess, are halves. Because tap shots would be when you, you know, don't go beyond half. Anyways, just shoot a tower. You're a missile though. You want to run. Luckily, you get someone. Pop the, pop the whale. Pop the whale. It's time to go. It's time to go. There's two down. Pop the whale. It's time to go. Okay, well, the opportunity's gone. You didn't push. Now you're getting flanked. So, yeah. I know you're a Splatana. Not Splatana. You're not a Splatana. I've been watching too many Splatanas. I know you're a Stringer. You're a backline. What are you doing there? I know you're a backline. And uh, that means you don't really tend to push all too well. But even still, you could have tried something. could have at least gotten on tower. Anyways, probably want to pop the miss so that you don't get rushed. It, they didn't rush you though, so it's okay, I guess. I don't know. I felt like they could have rushed you easily. You get the shot on that. That was nice. Uh, unluckily though, luckily for them, I guess, they had a, a cooler, so they'll be back pretty quick. But still, a kill's a kill. It was still worth something. I don't know why you're back here. You can pop a whale. You've held this whale for a long time. Alright, let's try to move in. Well, I guess this is all you can do in terms of moving in. You're just trying to shoot tower, that's fine. Protect yourself here, can you protect yourself? Nice, you got him. Shoot at tower. There you go. And you know it's just, just, it's just a dumb thing to roll her. Okay, no, that was actually pretty bad. You missile shared your entire team. Not your entire team. You can't move up right now. Your team's two down. You have no support because the uh, other guy was just respawning. Yeah. All right. So then, Katana's here. I'm down. You're not gonna win this one. Wait. They ran out of ink. They took too long. Oh, you did not take this fight well, though. Yeah. Okay. You should have just killed this guy. You did not have to waste a whale on him. Your whales are pretty good special. Like, you don't... You shouldn't waste it like that. So he, here's... The, you can use whales to make openings for your team. Once the whales pop, that means that your team can easily go in. Because the enemy is displaced and they have to move around. Enemy... It's normally pretty easy to kill someone who's walking towards you. Because, you know, they're just walking towards you. But if you pop a whale on them, that means they have to focus on dodging. And they can't focus on the people who are running towards them. Anyways, I say you can move up here. You can drop down. You can move up a little bit. Or, I guess not here. You can't. Eh, whatever. You could have moved up, to be honest. Uh, I'd say, like... But the real problem is, it's not whether or not you're moving up or not. That, that's not the real problem. I think the real problem is you're playing Stringer like a charger. You keep going for, like, these snipes. You keep trying to snipe them. But that's not how Stringer plays. Stringer isn't a sniper. It's a chip damage weapon. You play it to spread chip damage. Yeah, so... Stringer should be making regular uses... Yeah, regular use of partial charges. Uh, or half charges, or whatever. Partial charges. And B, the reason why is because partial charges are a lot easier to hit than full charges. There's pretty much no way, like, it's really hard to hit a full shot, a full, like, one shot. 
So that's why you rely on in hitting, uh, like, on chipping them. Chip damage in this case would be like hitting them for 80 damage or 60 damage. Basically, just some amount of damage that isn't like an insta kill. So, just think of it like this: your weapon isn't very good at like one-shotting people, but your weapon's very good at spreading out damage. So if you play to spread out damage, instead of trying to kill one person at a time, what you do is you make it so that if your team tries to push in, they're going to have the advantage, because your team has more health than the enemy team. That's how you need to be playing Stringer. People have tried to play Stringer like this. but And that's how people. this is how people played Stringer back when it first came out. And they were like, yeah, this thing sucks, because it's basically a bad charger. That's exactly what people were thinking about it. And you know what? With how they were playing it, they were right. They were playing it like a bad charger. So of course it sucked. They didn't play it like a stringer. But now people are playing it like a stringer. Now people are realizing, hey, this weapon's pretty good at trading, spreading chip damage. That's pretty good. We like this. And I don't think that uh, the stringer here has really like figured that out. It's not their fault. Maybe they're not like super as well in in engrossed into the competitive community. Uh, that's fine. Not not a lot of people are, but that's why I'm here to tell you guys how to do things. Like not necessarily how to do things, but uh, how to play better, basically. And how this person, how this stringer would want to play, is they would want to be playing more for chip damage. They want to be going for partial charges instead of full charges. And don't try to jump. You only jump when you really need to kill someone. When someone's like dashing towards you and you really need to kill them. Or when you think you can actually go for the snipe. If you can go for the snipe, try to go for it. But the better thing is to identify a clump of enemies, like a cluster of enemies that you know the enemies about in this area. I'm going to spam some shots over here. They're going to be a bit weak. That means if my team wants to make an aggressive play and they want to push in, they have a better chance at winning because they're going to have more health than the enemy team. But that'll be it for today. See y'all.